Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Today we are going to take a few more letters uh, to refresh your memory. We took letter Aleph, Ba, this is Ba, and this is Ta, and this is Tha, Tha from Thunder, and this is Ja, which we will take today, Ja, and we will take Ha and Kha. Let us go and see how they are written and how we can use them. Letter Ja, as we said, you know, in Arabic we have we have names for letters, and Ja, if it's by itself, we call it Jim, Jim, all right. Uh, now, this is how it's written in the beginning and in the middle and at the end. The second letter is Ha. Ha has no dots, as you see, Jim or Ja have a dot underneath. You see it inside the psych the circle the letter ha does not have any dot at all ha now how to pronounce letter ha imagine yourself you are getting cold and you are saying ah, ah, it's cold that's ha very simple many they have a lot of difficulty to do it because they don't notice that they can do it really and they do it sometime without without knowing so ha simply is like you are saying i'm, I'm cold try to make that sound Ah. Uh, let the let the air come from your throat and let it flow and squeeze your throat a little bit ha ha so ha is the same as jim actually or ja except that ha does not have a dot as we see all right so if you if you look with me here what the difference between both actually nothing except the dot this one have a dot this one does not have a dot and letter kha have a dot in the top that's all otherwise there is no different if you look at them they look exactly the same like ja is the same as ha the same as kha the only difference between them is the dot this one the one at the top ja is the dot is underneath the ha has no dot at all the ha had a dot in the top all right otherwise they are all written the same way there's no different as we see and they look exactly the same in the middle in the in the in the end except the dot so you need to focus always when you write those letters in remembering the situation of the dot so if you want to say gene it means the dot is underneath. You don't forget the dot because that will change the letter. If you forget the dot totally, that will make it letter ha. Or if you put it in the top, that will make it letter ha. So you need to remember that ja or jim letter is underneath. Ha has no dot at all. Ha have a dot in the top. Now, how we write those letters? It's very simple now I, I asked you before guys if you can buy stickers stickers to put it in your keyboard so you can type in Arabic those stickers they are very cheap like you can get for one dollar from Amazon uh, all what you need to do just uh, it's uh, like uh, you, uh, you peel it out and you stick it in the top of your keyboard and don't worry those stickers have English letters and uh, like uh, uh, Arabic letters in the same time so you will not miss your English ones and both they come in two letters and uh, two colors sorry so try to find uh, let me show you actually in Amazon uh, as you see this is uh, I search in Amazon now there is the prices I don't know like some they are more expensive some they are cheaper but as you see this is how the stickers work and uh, try to find out first what is suitable for your keyboard because uh, you want something clear for you like something easy for you to to see people they have different ability of vision uh, what color you like etc so you will see many kind of stickers see the one you like you know and you order it uh, but this is how they look like you see in the screen I think it's clear now right so 
it's a very simple tiny sticker uh, uh, so like like you don't need to glue it i mean it, 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 it's a glue by itself and just peel it out from the main paper and stick it in the top of the right key which resemble exactly the english one like you don't worry about the arabic like look in your keyboard let's say w so you look for the w key in your keyboard and you stick that w in there very simple all right so this is how it look like try to find something fit with the color you like which make it easy for your eyes to to see it uh, I, I don't advise you to get something dark uh, uh, you know always uh, maybe light color is easier to see for both because remember you are going to see two letters now the latin and the arabic some of them they come with two colors maybe that will be easier for you it's up to you <clears throat> all right some of them they come with two letter two colors which mean every letter have a color which mean the arabic have a color uh, let us say the arabic have a silver color or and the english have a black or the opposite or whatever you know uh, some of them both have the same color uh, like the stickers I have actually they are almost gone from my keyboard because by time they will lose you know but it's, it's stay like there for maybe a year or two uh, let us see yeah you see this one is a black but I guess all of them they have different colors yeah, you see this one this is how it is like your keyboard is a black already uh, then maybe it's good to have a, a black and uh, and white it's up to you all right uh, there is long list of prints so go check in Amazon and see and they are cheap really they are not really expensive um, so this like this one for one dollar and 99 cents and if you have a prime it's for free to do ship mostly so uh, this is what you need for your keyboard if you you try to start practicing in your keyboard how to write uh, and for sure if you have Mac you can install Arabic font it's very easy actually if you do not know how to do it I can make a video about it and for uh, window you just go to languages and add the Arabic font as simple as that and then you will be able to write and uh, type in Arabic all right so let us go back to our uh, writing so here now we will try to write those letters uh, but before I do that I'm going to uh, always it's it's better if you write and you use straight lines like you know in, in paper because that make your writing more stable balanced so let us draw a line and again I apologize my software is not really that good uh, I, I am planning in the copy like in the coming few weeks maybe uh, there is a software it's called Autodesk I saw someone using it for Arabic writing because it has a brushes very nice it make writing really good and very good for us for, for a computer drawing uh, because simply what we are doing we are we are drawing a drawing right now the software I have is just uh, I draw a line there's no edges there's nothing it's just a line this is why the uh, I cannot make a good writing it's it's coming awful awful actually for me uh, uh, because you know you can make an Arabic font which is artistic and look nice all right but I need to buy those tools uh, however let us see how we can write uh, those letters we have letter jim or ja jim I will write the word Jamal again it's not coming good Jamal you you see here though the Jim I wrote it as if it's a tringle it's fine or you can make it in an artistic way like this Jamal all right it's the same uh, what if I took the dot off from this word the same word that will make it Hamel you see why important the dots if I miss the dot that will change the meaning the Jamal will become Hamel and Hamel mean the baby of the sheep when the baby she have a new uh, the sheep have a new baby we call it Hamel all right uh, 
uh, and after this video actually I'm going to start giving you Tashkil Tashkil is simply is something we add in the top of the letters like Fatha or Kasra or Dhamma uh, or Sukun etc so soon in the video after this I'm going to go for that and I will show you how those work because those are going to be very important uh, because sometimes you might get confused saying well it's the same word you told me it is Jamal as an example Jamal the same word I'm using Jamal is a camel if I add Dhamma in the top of it that will make it Jumal Jumal is sentences <laughs> you see the difference from camel to Jumal from, Jam from Jamal to Jumal just by adding this Dhamma in the top Dhamma it makes the letter as if you attaching the letter U to it so the letter Ja will become Ju Jumal this is what we are going to learn in the video after that and don't worry it's not really hard you know uh, take it easy uh, it's in YouTube you think can you take time your time or repeat and ask me questions and don't worry I'm not going to stop teaching you until all of you your questions is answered all right so don't forget to use the correct letter writing so if that letter is Jim then you have to put the dot if you miss it you change the word meaning totally different word all right uh, what about letter uh, ha? so Mukh. Mukh. look how I wrote the ha. you can write it in different way artistic way Mukh. and again soon I hope I will be able to buy the, the, the brushes the software with the brushes so we can write really nice uh, in the screen uh, right now we are just drawing a line and my pen is not helping uh, Mukh means brain if I forget to write that the, uh, if I forget to put the dot in the top of the Kha so that will make it Muh Muh so the dot is very important if you miss it people won't understand this is a different word uh, the word uh, let's see in the let's uh, come in with the word uh, where the letter jim or ha or ha in the middle uh, yujib Yujib mean he answer. Look at the jim how it's written. Let me make it more clear. Uh, sadly, we have to clean everything now. Okay. Mu. Jib. Mujib is the one who answer like you say my God he is Mujib he answer me all right Mujib now you will notice here I'm saying Mu even though it is not there's no U that because automatically I'm adding Dhamma in the top this is why I'm going to give it to you give it to you just in the video after this uh, because later you will notice we are starting making words and we are pronouncing things is not exist in the language I mean in the in the word like now Mujib where is the Mu there's M but there's no U simply because there's a Dhamma usually in Arabic when we uh, say things uh, or we write things we don't we don't put the Dhamma but we say it but because we are very fluent in the language but for you you better know it so Mujib what about uh, another letter ha and it is in the middle muhib muhib which means a lover lover all right muhib you see even writing english will not come good with this pen it's not uh, functioning uh, what about uh, the letter ha in the middle uh, 
מוחמל. מוחמל. מוחמל is a kind of a fabric, like have a small little hairy things in it, which is very soft, all right? I'm not sure what they call it in English. Mukhmal. Uh, so we have it in the, in, the, in the beginning, we have it in the front uh, as a beginning of the word, and we have it between, as we see here, and we have it at the end. So it's not really hard to write it, all right? You will notice that you can, by the way, like this is letter ma, this is letter ha, and this is letter ba, all right? Okay, connect them. <laughs> Done. M ha ba muhib. That will make it muhib. You see how it is? It's not really hard. So imagine yourself. You are connect. You are writing letters by their own. All right. And then you just extend the line and you connect between them. So, ma, ha, ba. This is how letter ba coming in the middle. Mahabba. Mahabba mean love. The love. All right. So uh, it's not really hard. Just try to imagine you are writing the letters by themselves as you learn them. You know, you go back to the uh, uh, to the field we showed you. It shows you how it is by itself. It shows you how it is uh, in the middle at the end. Now, always, always remember that those letters when they are at the end, they go back to the original stages. Remember, we sh we showed you that. So you notice here. Letter Jim or Ja at the end is the same as letter Ja by itself. It go back to the original. But the only difference is there is a little line to attach to the letter before it. Same for letter Ha. At the end, it go back to the original, except there is little line to to connect. Letter Ha is the same. It go back to the original, except there is little line to connect. And this is what was the case for all the letters we taught you before. All right. Uh, except those letters which can, do not connect from uh, the left, but we can connect from the right. So uh, you see those letters, all of them, when we write them at the end, they come back to the original. So here, let us see uh, how the original, uh, uh, w w when we say original, what we mean. Uh, this is the letter this is the letter uh, ha as an example by itself and this is how it is to be connected in the start and this is how it is when we connect when it is connected at the end so what we need to do just connect very simple this little line to connect this little line to connect Here, there's no connection. It's in the in the front. If it is like if uh, if it is in the front, uh, that's mean ha is in the beginning. There's no connection in the in the right side. So this line is to connect. So this is why we said uh, as an example, uh, you hib. You. This is letter yeah. Later we will take it. And then we write the letter ha, and then we write the letter ba, and that's it. We connect. We have a we have a word. It's really simple. So now, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me, and uh, 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 you can post your questions underneath of the video. Uh, uh, don't worry, I read them all. Uh, in the same time, uh, don't for forget to subscribe and uh, tell your friends about what we do i hope everything is good if anyone have any uh, comment like uh, there's something i'm not making it clear for you please don't hesitate to ask thank you and follow with me 
with the coming video. God bless.